Over the last few months or so, I've noticed that Firefox is broken. So, I've had many problems over the last year with Firefox in general. The way they run their business, the way they deal with the money coming from Google, all this stuff. I have a problem with it. And as anybody who's watched the channel for long enough knows, you know that I've been searching in vain for an alternative to Firefox. But for the most part, my criticisms of Firefox really haven't been with the browser itself. The browser has always been fairly fine. A little slow, but mostly fine. Definitely usable enough that I still use it. But recently, I've been noticing so many more problems. And this has nothing to do with the update that just came out. I personally think it's fugly, but whatever. You know, I use the user chrome.css stuff uh, and make it look the way I want it to look. And I'm okay with it. Whatever. What I'm talking about is actual, like, rendering of the internet. So... Over the last six months, I've just noticed more and more websites just don't work well in Firefox. Things like banking, things like YouTube and the YouTube backend, things like Google Docs, things like Patreon. There are certain parts of Patreon that I just can't get to load. Uh, for whatever reason, half the time when I upload a video, the like the percentage that counts up for, to tell you how long you have until you, um, the video is uploaded just doesn't work. And it works fine in a Chromium-based browser. I've tried it in Brave. I've tried it in Chromium. It works fine. So what I think is going on is that Firefox has such a small market share. Web developers have no incentive to code for it. And the way Firefox handles its engine and stuff in the background is definitely different than the way Chrome does it. And Chrome is the internet. Like, uh, all developers develop for Chrome. Web developers develop for Chrome. They have no reason to develop for Firefox and their little minute changes to the way they render the web. And that causes things to break. And for a while, it wasn't a big deal because for the most part, those little minute differences in the way Firefox does things didn't really affect that many things. But it's getting worse. Because it, it's like spreading out to more popular websites, like the banking websites, like Patreon, like YouTube. Now, obviously, the Google stuff is more anti-competitive. They're, they have a very good reason not to code stuff to work well in other browsers. But things like the, like the, my bank and Patreon and Facebook a lot of the times, you know, they have no reason or no incentive to code for Firefox because nobody uses Firefox in the grand scheme of things. So my quest to find a different browser is beginning again, and it's going to have to be a Chromium based browser. So this is just a, a kind of a really short video, but I wanted to know if in the comments below, just let me know in the comments below if you've been having the same experience with Firefox, because it's possible it's just the few uh, websites that I use, you know, every day or whatever that are having the biggest problems. Maybe it's, I'm the only one that's noticed it, but I'd love to hear about your thoughts in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe and all that nonsense. You can follow me on Twitter at LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank our current patrons. Devon, Marcus, Meglin, Donnie, Sven, East Coast Web, Merrick, Camp, and Mitchell. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.